You know, most guys who are into the rugged style look have no problem figuring out what to wear for about half the year. But during the summer months, usually they're, they're like kind of looking around going, what, what can I wear now? After all, wool and denim and heavy leather, stuff like that, it's all great in the fall and the winter time. But what about when summer comes around? What are your options? Well, for me, the go-to has always been my pair of sky blue naked and famous denim. It's, it's a lighter weight. It's a beautiful color. Great for the summer months. I've worn this stuff in the summer up here in New England. I've worn it down in Florida, you know, where it's hot and humid enough that even like the alligators get agitated. And it's been great. And I also really like Naked and Famous as a brand in general. You know, they're from Canada. But the thing about them is they have this lighthearted, seemingly, approach to denim. You know, they're not afraid to take chances. As a matter of fact, I think they might be the most adventurous company in denim today. I mean, Capital has some crazy designs, but who else does like scratch and sniff denim and glow in the dark denim? And now they're developing a 40 ounce denim, which is like the heaviest by far that I've ever seen made. They have a great approach. And I've always seen them as sort of like the Wonka chocolate factory of denim. You know, just really adventurous, really fun, and they come up with some wild stuff. Well, this year, Naked and Famous went in a slightly different direction with their new Fox Fiber jeans. These are pretty unique, so let's get into some of the construction details. Now, the makeup is probably the coolest thing about these jeans, and it consists of a weft made from Fox Fiber, which is a patented American cotton, which is actually a blend of green and brown that will darken when it's washed. Now, I love a brown weft on denim since it tends to lend a darker character and, in my opinion, more interesting and vintage kind of vibe. Now, Fox Fiber itself is named for Sally Fox and it was created in 1989. It comes in three shades and grows without chemicals so it doesn't have to be bleached or dyed, which makes it a more natural product. Now, for the warp, Naked and Famous went with a Supima cotton, which is an extra long staple cotton that's actually quite soft and has a very nice feel to it. You'll find this stuff in a lot of high-end dress shirts. But one note about Supima cotton is that a garment can't technically be labeled as Supima cotton unless there's a certain percentage of it in the overall garment. And since the warp makes up only 50% of denim fabric, this doesn't qualify for that label. But you don't really care, do you? I mean, you still get all the benefits of it without the label. Now, I've never been good at figuring out my pre-shrunk, unsamphorized denim size. I'm really bad at math. I used to cheat off the girl next to me in class. Later on, she became my wife, so stay in school, kids. And I really think that the whole unsamphorized, shrink-to-fit craze is becoming a thing of the past. You still get the three-dimensional character of a great unsamphorized fabric without all the fuss. A slightly hairy texture with just enough variation to be interesting and an easy-to-wear darker shade of indigo. Now, all of that is cool enough, but the best part of all this denim goodness is that they kept it to a lightweight 10 and a half ounces, making them perfect for summer. Now, usually you're pretty limited when it comes to colors on lighter weight denim. Light blues, like my other pair of Naked and Famous, are great. They're awesome, especially in direct sunlight because they don't absorb the sunlight. But plenty of people want to keep it dark, like their old favorites. And this is actually the first time I've seen darker colored jeans where you don't have to compromise on the weight. They're just as cool as your heavyweight stuff, but just imagine your heavyweight denim went on a tropical vacation. So since the shrink has been washed out of it, you don't have to worry about guessing at all. You just look at the fit chart and work off of that. Of course, like most denim in this category, the inseam length is fixed. Now, you can cuff it or hem it depending on your preference, but I think a dark weft looks best when it's cuffed. Now, the Fox Fiber jeans are available in men's Super Guy Fit, Weird Guy Fit, and Easy Guy Fit, which is the pair that I have, along with women's Max and Classic Fits. There's also a jacket available in the same fabric for $269 if your jeans collection is maxed out or you just want to go with a denim tuxedo look. Now, aside from the fun aspect of Naked and Famous, they're also a really good value. And as a matter of fact, they're usually one of the first brands that I recommend to somebody for their first pair of good selvedge denim. But of course, being a review, I always like to mention a few competitive options. The first is the Stanton, which is 11 ounces from Rogue Territory. Now this comes in at $230. It's a dark wash denim like the others. And you know, if you like Rogue Territory, then, then maybe this is more your bag. I don't know. They have a couple of details that the Naked and Famous doesn't. Then again, maybe that's not what you want. So this is just another option to take a look at, although it is a bit more expensive. 
From 316, there is the ST101X Slim Tapered Lightweight Selvage. Now, lightweight, you know, these are 12 ounces, so I'd say that they're right on the cusp of light to midweight, but still totally wearable in the summertime, and these could be yours for $215. And finally, the budget pick. The unbranded brand has a stretch selvage 11 ounce jean, which is $110. And I hesitate to even say that because I know a lot of people would say, I'll never spend over $50 on jeans. Well, then maybe you haven't gotten into selvage denim, but still, either way, this is what I would call the budget pick. Still dark, still lightweight. It's from uh, unbranded. So anyway, I think the Fox Fiber is an awesome addition just in time for summer. And the cool thing too is that they're not too light that you couldn't wear them year round if you wanted to. Say you really like these and you dig that brown weft and you just wanna wear the hell out of them all year, you could absolutely do that. Some of the lighter weight stuff, I mean, I know that, I forgot what Naked and Famous came out with. It was something crazy light, like, like six ounces, you know, which feels just like, I don't know, tissue paper. These are a little bit more substantial than that. So when you actually wear them, now I've been wearing these for a little while now, they, they definitely feel light and airy. They move with you. There's none of that pinching and pulling that sometimes you get with lighter weight denim as you sort of break it in. These are, are really very user friendly to begin with. And again, a brand that I like a lot, a brand that's adventurous, not afraid to try new things. I think they're a home run. But of course, I wanna know what you think. So please share your thoughts in the comment section below. There's so much value to be found down there. A lot of smart people out there who are willing to share their thoughts and their knowledge. So please, always check the comment section. A lot of good stuff to be found down there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.